Have you ever noticed how some recorded songs today seem quite static? Well, it's probably because they were made by machines rather than a group of musicians sitting around and playing together. One method to help negate the mechanical or static feel of a recording is to use the tempo track coupled with quantized hit points to drive a soft synth drum machine such as Steinberg's Groove Agent 1 that comes integrated with Cubase 5. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk you through how to use the tempo track to increase the pull and the push of the song, almost as if a group of musicians were getting into it and accelerating their pace as the song progresses. This increase in tempo happens naturally in live music, so let's go about mimicking it here. Before I start, one of the unsung features of Cubase is its ability to allow you to export and subsequently import a complete song file with all its elements intact. This enables you to record different musicians in different studios. For this tutorial, I'm doing just that. I'm actually at a large studio that belongs to a friend, equipped with much better monitors and great analogue equipment. Not that I'm jealous, you understand. And once I've done some recording here, I'm then able to save it in Cubase and transfer it back to my home studio. For now, I want to first open one of Cubase 5's new instruments, Groove Agent 1, to create a live sounding simple beat. So I'll go to Devices and VST Instruments. I'll rush through the creation of the VST instrument because I know you're aware how to do this. If not, please refer to VTC's other tutorial covering Cubase 4 for more details. OK, I do want to create a MIDI track. Right, here's Groove Agent 1. I'll just move it more into view. Now I'll choose a preset from here in exactly the same way as other instruments load their presets. I'll choose Brush Kit CD. OK, just check the kit has loaded. I'll close the interface, seeing as I don't need it for now. As you know, its sounds are still loaded to use within Cubase. Just tidy up my screen real estate so I can see what I'm doing, or more importantly, you can see what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to create a basic MIDI beat on this track that will trigger Groove Agent 1 sounds. I'll just drag in my locators and double click to create an empty MIDI area. I'll add some MIDI notes to trigger the kick drum and snare. Now I need to adjust these MIDI notes to the correct ones. Looking back at Groove Agent's interface shows us the kick drum is triggered by MIDI note C1 with the two snare sounds triggered by E1 and D1. So I need to change these MIDI notes in my editor. OK, good. Close the editor. Let's duplicate it and glue it together. Now I'll use our originally used Too Busy drum loop to provide the movement of rhythm onto this newly created Groove Agent MIDI file. Again, these aren't new techniques only relevant to Cubase 5, so if I'm rushing, please refer to Adam's Cubase 4 tutorials. I'll double click the original beat here to open the editor. This editor in Cubase 5 has been modified visually, but essentially works the same way as in previous versions of Cubase. I'll pull my sensitivity slider to create the hit points we'll use to create our quantized map. I've set the default to 1 16th notes. Now there are too many hit points here for our purposes, so I'll remove the ones I don't want. Just bear with me whilst I remove them. Now I'll create my quantize template to apply to our Groove Agent file. So I'll go to Audio, Hit Points, Create Groove Quantize from Hit Points. Now close the audio editor. I now need to apply the quantize map to my MIDI file. I'll just half the length of the MIDI file, make it a little bit easier for me. Now I'll click the file once and go to MIDI, Quantize Setup. Then check my Quantize map is named here. Then click Apply Quantize. Close it. Now I'll check the MIDI editor where I can see our MIDI notes have been moved slightly away from the rigid downbeat. These numbers here indicate how far away from the mechanical feel of a programmed drum machine they are. Excellent. 
That's the first part done of creating a spontaneous live feel. Let's close this and hear it.